Hello, my name is Lauren. And I'm... Hang it. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lauren. And I'm Kai, and welcome to the Theoretical YouTube channel, where today we are doing another trivia battle. Yes, and although we are filming this a month ahead of time, today we're doing Star Wars because The Mandalorian Season 2 is premiering on Disney+. Plus On October 30th. We're not sponsored or anything, no. but uh, that's when we're releasing this. Okay. Yes. Huh. Alright. Alright, uh, so how the game works is that we have each written five trivia questions of varying difficulties. His tend to be more difficult, hence why I'm losing. You could just make them more difficult. Yeah, and then we're gonna ask them back and forth. Whoever gets the most correct uh, is going to have points tallied up. And so you currently have 12 points in our overall scoring system, and I have 10. Which means that... I'm still two ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and if at any point during the game we don't know the answer, but we want a hint, we can ask for one clue. All right, let's get started. Hey, right. you want to go first or should I? Uh, you can go first. All right. What fuel is the MacGuffin of Solo A Star Wars Story? What's the fuel that they're after called? Oh. Hyperscribe... No, I have... I was just thinking this morning that I, I have only seen uh, Solo once. Hyperscribe? <laughs> Hyperscrylatone. <laughs> no. I don't want to use a hint on the first question. You shouldn't. Yeah. Is this one that you thought I would just know? I mean, I, uh, yeah, kind of. That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, Hyperfluid is going to be my final answer. Hyperfluid. No. But, I mean, you're right that it's, it's the fuel that lets you go to the hyperspace mm -hmm. and whatever. Uh, but no, it doesn't have hyper in the name. Darn. Uh, Does it have an SC in I it? Think, I think it's referred to as hyperfuel sometimes, oh, okay. so yeah. Uh, or it is a type of hyperfuel, but no, it has no SC. It's called coaxium. Okay, yep, yeah, th that is what it's called. Yeah. Your first question is, who created the rule of two? Oh. Uh, wait. That's like a long time ago in a galaxy super far away. Yes. Was it like the, it was the first Sith, probably? Right? No. No. It wasn't no. the first one. No. It was after like like a Jedi massacre of some sort, and there was only one Sith left. Oh. And I I know you know this name. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's a Sith I'd heard of before. It's not Plagueis, right? No, because, uh, uh, no, no, Darth Plagueis, the why? Because, no, that was like super recent, and the rule of mm -hmm. two has been around for like millennia. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it worth me using a hint on the first turn? Um, maybe. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll go for a hint if you think I've, sure. I know the name. Um, so you know the title, obviously, because it's Darth. a Sith. And then uh, they share a name with a Batman villain. It's Darth Penguin. Darth Bane. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, Darth Penguin. <laughs> uh, your next question. Okay. This one I hope you get. Okay. How do you spell Wookiee? W. O. O. K. I. E. Wookiee. Like cookie, but with a W. Yes? Are you sure? Yeah. That's incorrect. It's <laughs> called Wookiee. Uh, w O O K I E E. Really? Yeah, there's two E's on the end. It's an I E E. Aww. All right. Well, this quiz is not going well for me. Yeah. No. Uh, your that second... was that was the easiest question. <laughs> your second question is: What was Anakin Skywalker's call sign at the Battle of Coruscant? I don't know. Uh, do they go with the colors that that, and, uh, well, th there is also a Jedi, so, like, he's a, like, he's, he's a general, mm, he was in a yellow fighter, yellow, five. Is that your final answer? Yes. According to Wikipedia, it's red five? Oh. Like, because I looked up Red 5 to see who at all held the title and when. But that's Luke's. Right, but he yeah. takes over from the other guy. From the guy who died. Right. But yeah, it said that during the Clone Wars and up until the Battle of Coruscant, Anakin also sometimes flew under it. Huh. What are the chances? Very low. Extremely, extremely low. 
All right. Uh, all right. Okay. How many systems is Cornelius or Doctor Cornelius Evazon wanted on? Or does he have the death penalty on? Actually, who is that? Him and Ponda Baba. Th th these names aren't real. <laughs> You're making them up. Ponda Baba is that spider guy, and Doctor Cornelius oh, Evazon okay. is the guy. Who, apparently, is human. He doesn't look human. <laughs> I'm gonna use my hint here. This number is a highly composite number. I don't know what that means. It's an anti-prime. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, it's a prime. So what would an anti-prime be? A number that's divisible by a lot of stuff? Highly composite. Composed of many things. Is it 12? Yes. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. Cool. It's 12, yeah. Your third question. Who wrote the score for Solo, a Star Wars story? I should say most of the score. John Williams wrote the main theme, but someone else wrote the rest. Michael Gajayachito. Is that your final Gai answer? Michael Cicchino? Guy. Uh, it's no either- No other composers. It's either him or Pirates of the Caribbean guy was his name. I'm just gonna hope it's not him. I'm gonna go with Michael Cicchino. It is incorrect. Uh, it's not Hans Zimmer. Zimmer. Who you're thinking of. Mm -hmm. It was John Powell. Oh. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How to Train Your Dragon? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I just listened to a podcast about his work on Solo this morning. I thought he only did How to Train Your Dragon. No, like, he's that was done biggest... over 60 movies. Well, yeah, I didn't think he only oh. did. <laughs> I thought that was like <laughs> the only thing I'd know him for. Your next question. Okay. Name one hut besides Java. What's the little one called in the like the Clone Wars movie? And he has a um, he has like a brother or something who in my mind is named Fred Hut, but I really know that's <laughs> not correct. Uh, Slimy the Hut. That's probably not right. Just Attila one. Attila the Hut. No. Oscar the Grouch. Farther. <laughs> he married into the family. <laughs> Bosca the Hut. Iki the Hut. Oogie. Or these are Legend of Korra characters. <laughs> and I am thinking of a character, but in my mind their name is Fred the Hut. Yeah, the one who's got his purple. He's got, yes! Yeah. His name is not Fred. <laughs> he's also kind of like Bane, but if he was <laughs> weird. Bane the Hut. I'm gonna go with Yogi the Hut. After the hand of our bear character. Yeah, no. Darn it. I said I would have accepted uh, the uh, baby mm -hmm. nickname that Ahsoka gives the baby, and that'd be Stinky. And uh, that one is uh, Zero the Hut. Dang! <laughs> it would have been an easy hint. <sighs> Your fourth question Who are Rogue One? Do I need last names? We'll see. Jin or so. Okay. Cassian Andor. Yes. Shirut Imwe? Yeah. That's three. Bayes. I'm not going to get his last name. Okay, tentative point. <laughs> uh, and the pilot is Bodhi. Also okay. not going to get his last name. Okay, fine. You can have the point. Cool. Bayes Malbus and Bodhi Rook. Or Rook. Rook? Probably Rook. All right, your last question. Oh, no, okay. Who is Dathomir the home to? Is it is it featured in the Skywalker saga? Uh no. Is it a character? Okay, am I looking for a character or a species? Uh well there's I think one species that lives here, but all the men look one way and all the women look another way. Well there's actually two very main characters. Okay. Uh not to the Skywalker saga, but to Star uh -huh. Wars in general, who are from here. One is a man, one's a woman, they look different. You wouldn't expect them to be the same. Okay. But they mate, so I assume they're the same. Yeah, because species can't really. Yeah. Do I know this character? Like. Yeah. You know this. You know both of these characters' names. Darn it. Well, I don't know where Ahsoka's from, so I'm gonna guess uh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka is a Twi'lek. Yeah, that's. Who lives that. on. Ro. Ro. Rodania? No. Uh, you want another guess? Sure. It's not the one guy that looks like the, the pig. No. Head. <laughs> okay, good. I'll say Plo Koon. No. 
Or have you ever seen a female uh, of Darth Maul's species? Oh! Yeah. And then do you know who uh, is the, like, front face, like the most popular, or uh, the most main of the characters who is a woman from that planet? Is it Ventress? Yeah, it's Ventress. So they look different. Yeah, but they're the same species. Huh, your last question. Ooh. Is not part of Star Wars canon. Dang. What color is Mara Jade's lightsaber? Oh, if they were gonna say like eyes, I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Mara Jade. She is in tune with the Force. Mm hmm. And. But is she particularly in tune with the Force? No, she'd have like a green lightsaber. Or she have a weird one, like a yellow lightsaber. She stole it from a, a guard. Or she's not gonna have a purple one, because that's just uh Because you don't refuse Samuel L. Jackson. It's not gonna be red, unless she goes evil at some point. But I don't think she, I think she... Well, I mean, I was trying to read on her character to come up with a question. I think she, like, worked for the Emperor at one point. Uh, so blue, red, green... It's not gonna be yellow. Probably not white. I'm going to say it is... Green. Saying she's compatible with Luke because they're married. Uh, they're, yeah, they're that also is, married. I guess that's uh, incorrect. The correct problem. answer was purple. Oh, but what? Why did she have a purple lightsaber? I don't know. Well, it also said magenta, but I just assumed that meant purple. Oh, maybe it's because she worked for the Emperor. Oh, yeah. Just like sort of straddling the line between light side and dark side. Yeah. Uh, well, I lost. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. You got two correct. You got one. Okay. And it was 12. Yeah, and I used the hint to get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, that means that you currently have 14 points, and I have 11. So you have increased your lead. We should do a Harry Potter uh, trivia battle so that I agree. you can. Uh... <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, if you liked this video, then like it with that button down there. If you want to subscribe, subscribe with that other button. While you're down there, you can comment, make fun of us for not knowing stuff. Make fun of Lauren for not getting anything right. Oh, I mean, she got the one right. Make fun of me for not getting three of them right. Uh, just don't be actually mean. Okay, uh, we've got a Twitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, at theory underscore central. Follow us there if you want to, I guess. Uh, and is that it? I believe so. Okay, so thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Highly composite numbers are just numbers that have more factors than any number before it. That's too much math knowledge. So. I didn't need that. One. Stop. Four. It. I don't need math knowledge. Six? I have enough.